Welcome to Grow Time, where we talk about business, marketing, and technology so you can grow from average Joe to CEO. Today we're going to talk about why some partnerships don't work for everybody and why some work really, really well. See, when you're getting into business with somebody, you're just looking at the nice flowery part of it. Look, there's somebody that's willing to work with me and I can capitalize on their strengths and we can be successful together. If you thought that you weren't going to be successful with that person, there's no way you would have ever been getting into business with them, right? But the reality is that most partnerships fail and the reason they fail is for these three reasons. Number one, treat it like a relationship. Make sure that you nurture that relationship. Now some people can't do that. They don't have the time, they don't have the mind share, they're just not relationship people. Partnerships are not going to work for you if you're not a relationship person. So ask yourself, can I really have a good relationship? If you can't, do not get into a partnership even if it looks good. Number two, make sure that you have defined expectations for the other person. Know what they're going to do. Some people say you have to partner up with other people that have different strengths than you do. Then what happens when you're pulling your weight on your strength and they're not pulling their weight on their strength? What's going to happen then? If you don't have clear definition of expectations, it's not going to work. I know that the best relationships happen for me when we both have similar strengths and we share on those responsibilities. For other people, it has to do with one person being the CFO, one person being the chief revenue officer, and then it works. So think about how you want the partnership to work and make sure that you have clear written expectations. If you're not going to be able to get along with the person and have those defined expectations, you're never going to be successful. And the last thing realize that partnerships are a friendship, a real friendship. Some people say, oh, it's just business, it's not personal. Bull crap! It's all personal. Saying it's not personal is a cop-out excuse. So if you want to go from average Joe to CEO, realize that it's a relationship, that you need to be defined about it, and you need to realize that it's personal. Take those three tips and hopefully either you'll have an amazing partnership or you'll realize that partnership is not for you. We'll see you next week.